Hello YouTube people, today I'll show you another amazing watch, Adidas Dive Pilot style watch. Okay, I'm not gonna read the specifications of the watch, I'll just put them on the side, I'll just mention the main things. 200 meters water resistance sapphire crystal that has anti-reflective coating, other dimensions you see on the side. You can pause the video if you wanna see. So, why have I bought this watch? First question. I already have another Adidas Dive watch, uh, sub homage, and that watch has a very impressive loom, not just for the price, but overall it's, it has very good loom. So I wanted to try another Adidas Dive watch to see if it's gonna have good loom as well. Uh, so I chosen this one because I think it also it looks just incredible, I just love this watch, looks amazing in person. So how is the loom? I'm not disappointed. I will show you the loom later on when we're gonna talk about positives. The loom is just, <laughs> I'm not disappointed whatsoever. Let's start uh, with negative points speaking about this watch. There aren't really many negative things and I'm gonna split them into subjectives and objectives. So let's start with the objective negative point. Here's this bracelet. It doesn't feel right. It's not the best quality. The links are getting stuck sometimes in some angles. I believe they would loosen up over time, but speaking about loosening up, I mean at some points the bracelet is already kind of loose. It doesn't really come very nicely with the case, with the lugs, I see gaps. The clasp is not terrible, it's okay, it's double pusher clasp. I can't really complain too much, but it has this cheap noise, I just don't, don't really like that. I'll show you some shots how this watch looks on this bracelet later on a little bit. Now let's speak about the watch. What are objective negative points about the watch? And there are none. Everything comes together very nicely. I see no negative things about the watch. No misalignments, no quality control problems. It's, it's very well done. Very well done watch. Okay then, only one negative objective thing, the bracelet. Now let's move on to subjective negative things which are completely just my personal opinion. And the first thing is the bracelet. Again, <laughs> in my opinion, this watch doesn't really look good on the bracelet. It's a military style watch, it looks the best on single piece nylon straps or some kind of silicone straps, I'll show you later on of course. Right now you see how it looks on the bracelet. To my eyes it just doesn't really work. It's completely personal doubt to your, to your taste, but yeah. I am putting that into subjective negative things. Okay, that's all the negative points. Another thing which I'm gonna mention is not a negative, it's debatable. Date window. Because when I look at this watch, I always have questions inside my head. Would it look better without the date window? Yes, of course. But that's not the question I have. I have a question, would it be a better watch without this date window? Ah, that's not so simple. Because you see, this is a tool watch. Any complication is welcome on a tool watch. And white date window is always easier to read than the black. So it kind of works on this tool watch, especially when the second hand is also white. And this second hand is the first positive thing which I would like to mention because it's just, a, just such a simple, very nice white second hand and just it just works. Just Design-wise, it just somehow works. So it kind of balances out this date window, but yeah, I don't want to complain about it. I, I'm just telling that I have a conflict in, inside my head when I look at this date. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about this date window? Would you prefer the black one? Would you prefer this watch without date window whatsoever? Or is it fine because it's a tool watch purposefully built and this date window is easy to read? I, I really want to see your opinion. <laughs> Tell me. So moving on towards positive points, uh, let's start small, okay? Then overall I look at this watch and it's like, it feels so purposely built. There are no decoration on, on this watch, there are no screws on the watch sticking out supposedly to make this watch look better, nicer, nothing like that. It's just completely purposeful design, it's just a tool watch and I just love that. It just feels wonderful, it looks good, it doesn't try to impress you, yet it looks very impressive. That's the same thing why I like Casio MQ24 so much. It doesn't try to impress you, it doesn't do anything specific, 
yet it looks so nice. I can say the same things about this watch. It's just cool design. It's such a cool design. I just love it. And somehow it seems like it's difficult to point out separate things why this watch looks so good, so cool. But I'll try. Let's start with the crown. Very good crown, by the way. Very good grip. It's a screw down crown, catches the threading very nicely. Everything is great. And I usually don't care about engravings on the crown, but I must mention this one is so nice. It looks so good in person. It shines and it's just so good. Very nice engraving. And speaking about engraving, engraving on the case back is also so good. It's really good. It's very sharp, very sharply done, very nicely. I mean, sharply in a nice way. It's not like it catches my finger. It just looks sharp. It looks very good. I like that a lot. And speaking about engravings and logos, I do like logo on the dial very much as well. I mean, even looking through macro lens, it does look very, very well. Very slim, thin lines. Such a sharp looking logo on the dial. It looks so good, so good. And another thing, you see this logo, Adias dive name, automatic 200 meters. What I like about them is that they are not white. They are a little bit gray, a little bit silver, and that's just very tasteful. I also see this watch as a perfect daily watch. I mean, what's most important for me in a daily watch is durability. And this watch has that feeling that I can beat this watch around. I mean, it's all brushed finish. I mean, if I scratch it, I can easily fix it with a sponge from the kitchen, you know, with the harsh side of the kitchen sponge. It's very easy to fix those micro scratches. And speaking about the window, it's sapphire crystal. I can scratch it all day and <laughs> nothing happens really. And it has this anti-reflective coating. I mean, everything about this watch, it, it just works. I like that this crown doesn't have crown guards. It's like nothing unnecessary. It feels so purposeful. I just love it. And moving to another point, one of the strongest points, the loom. Oh, the loom. The loom is just great on this watch. It just gives me so much joy throughout the day. I just come inside the house, out of the outside, and the watch is just shiny. <laughs> it's just so good. I love it. So overall, this watch is just a joy to have on the hand. And to the end of the video, I wanted to show you some extra shots, how this watch looks like on some other straps. Like, for example, on this strap from a smartwatch. Silicon strap was supposed to be on a smartwatch. But somehow this watch just feels so good on the hand with this strap. I know many people don't really like this strap, but it feels so good. So let's move on to another silicon strap. It's a very thick silicon strap that has these holes on sides. It's very good in a hot summer day. Very breathable and it feels so comfortable on the hand. I don't need to tighten it up too much and yet it sits in place perfectly fine. Another strap is this single piece tangible green strap with yellow stripe in the middle. Design wise it should work with this watch the best because the indexes and hands on the watch has this greenish tint and the green strap works really well especially on this military style watch but somehow i prefer this watch on this black strap it's the same as the green one before except this one has white stripe in the middle and this white stripe works very well with this white seconds hand it's completely personal preference but i really like how it looks and feels with this black strap Anyway, let's finish the video. So where are I gonna put this watch in my tier list for watches on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com. I'm putting it into keepers. And this is such a strong keeper that I may actually gonna keep this watch in real life. I mean, I do need to sell these watches because I need to get my money back so I can use the money to buy other watches to do reviews, right? That's how the circle goes. But this is one of those watches where I'm going to have a very difficult time putting this watch on sale. I mean 75 euros and you get sapphire crystal, anti-reflector coating, 200 meters water resistance, Seiko H35A movement and overall very purposeful, very nice design. It's such a great watch. I just like it so much. I'm going to keep it at least for yeah, several months. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.